any sound. So this is our new hotel. The Olio. We just got to the new hotel. So far so good. The um, reception area is a lot nicer, like even just the entrance. And we're right on the beach as well to see like a little pool down there. Thank you so much. No. I got it. It's really nice. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, it's beautiful. More like. So nice. Yeah, very nice. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love it. Nice aircon. Air conditioning motor right here. Yeah, no. You get to just choose different hats. How cool is that? <laughs> this, I feel really Mexican now. Um, I am already so much happier in this hotel. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go into a little bit about why we moved hotels. But not yet, I'm gonna just move all that stuff in then I'll probably video about it in more detail, but yeah. I knew for you from the hotel room. Just woken up. Um, it is raining, and that is partly the reason why we wanted to change hotels was because we knew that the weather got a little bit stormy, rainy for the next few days and we didn't really want to be stuck at the Blue Bay because not really a lot to do on site. Whereas here we've got like the spa, we've got tennis courts, um, and just loads of different restaurants as well to choose from. And we've got town centre so we can always go into the town, go shopping, do some things. Um, so we're not limited. We're just at the beach area. Little teepees with the shade, it's so lovely. Nice beaches here, isn't it? Yeah. It's nice there. Yeah. Where we were at the old hotel, it like didn't have nice beaches. The beach was like really stony, and I think there was a seaweed problem. Um, here it's absolutely beautiful, like white, pure Caribbean sand. Love it. <laughs> morning so it's um saturday morning now um we're in a nude hotel we've been down to have breakfast we was out last night um we've been to check out the pool and all the facilities in this new hotel and we love it so that's good news i did just want to check in really briefly just about why we did move hotels and obviously this is going to be part two of the vlog so you need to watch the first vlog to understand um, what I'm on about here um, and I don't really want to slate the hotel because Tui have been fab and they did look to try and move us because we wasn't happy um, but unfortunately they just couldn't sort it out in time so we just wanted to enjoy 
the last few days of our holiday. So, um, I did send a list to my mum about all the things that we complained about, so I thought it'd just be easier if I read the list so I don't forget anything. Um, so, in the all-inclusive, um, there was tuna steak, and, but it was labelled as lamb. So, we thought that we were having lamb, and it turned out to be tuna steak. I got food poisoning, so I felt really sick towards the end of the holiday. And I don't know if it's food poisoning or travellers, um, what is it, travellers sickness or whether it was just dehydration because I haven't been drinking a lot of water but I had a really poorly stomach. <laughs> um, so there was no hot water in either of our rooms. So there was no hot water in our first room. So we complained and we did get an upgrade which was the exact same room but they moved us location. And in both rooms there was no hot water and but it was but it was like freezing like to a point where I was crying because it was that cold because I can't stand cold showers um in the first room we had a broken shower door it like leaked water it's just it's just a health and safety hazard really they like to have water all over the floor um the second room was really dirty when we moved in there was like all hair in the plug um we didn't feel like the service was great like the staff just wasn't very attentive like really friendly but Nobody spoke English, so it was just really difficult to try and get anything um, that we needed or just communicate in general. And like, they just wasn't very attentive. If we had a problem, I just didn't feel like it was just really a priority for them or any kind of urgency. Um, so that's why I said the service wasn't was was crap. Um, so when I said they moved us hotel rooms, which they gave us an upgrade, they said it was an upgrade but they actually moved us further away from all the main facilities like the lobby, we had a pool where we were the first time they actually moved us further away so we had to walk but when you're in like 35 degree heat and you're having to walk miles just to get to the lobby it's just not ideal and you have buggies that take you around but they just wasn't frequent so like you're waiting there for ages like sometimes like 10 minutes just to get a buggy um, the main pool was closed where we were moved to so they were doing like construction work which is fine but they can't really call it an upgrade um, oh yeah they didn't let us book a la carte restaurants even though they were completely empty so the first night we got there we really wanted to book in the Mexican a la carte restaurant and they said it was completely full so I was just like oh can you not do anything like please like, we, we really want to eat there and they were like oh okay we found one cancellation but it's at 6pm and we don't like eating that early because we like to eat around 8 or 9 but we took it because it was obviously the only oh my arm's getting tired it was the only availability and when we got there restaurant was completely empty so it's just a bit frustrating really that they've like not gone out of their way to accommodate us um, oh yeah so you'll see on the footage that there was raccoons everywhere and they were like scavengers, I call them the scavs because they're just all around the hotel and they like steal all your food like there was this one point where we had um, Fanta out and like they knocked it over and like I was just getting really stressed about it which obviously it can't help but like they could have just done more to keep them away from like the areas where you're eating um, so yeah that's just some of the reasons why we moved hotel like now like where we are now is absolutely phenomenal like there's no raccoons like the hotel was just beautiful, so attentive, like the minute that we got there they were giving us um, water, lemonade, um, oh. towels for our face, um, the room key, because we kept losing the room key in our old accommodation, this is a room key and it's on your like all inclusive band so it's just so handy and the other ones are like these plastic ones and they just kept digging into us and stuff and like, I'm not ungrateful and I'm not complained about the first hotel because it was a really good experience because we got to do like really fantastic things like we get into Tulum and things like that so we're really happy that we did the first half how we did it and now we're just ending it like a little bit more nicer um but yeah like obviously don't want to come across like I'm complaining but it was for the price that we paid we just thought that we would get a little bit more but we're really really happy now that we've got to switch hotels and just enjoy the last few days of our holiday together so yeah it's really nice so that's why I've made this really super long now that's five minutes but I think it's insightful but yeah just gonna enjoy like the last few days now we might head into Cancun tonight depending on how we feel because we're both like not very well perhaps from the food poisoning 
and yeah just chill really the weather's not as good today but i think it is warming up so yeah i think we just enjoy the last few days of our holiday I just wanted to do a quick video. So ready, this is what I'm wearing tonight. Um, we're gonna try out the hotel facilities. We're going for dinner, we've got teppanyaki that we're gonna book tomorrow and then we're going to the all-inclusive buffet today. I've got a feeling that it's gonna be really good, well, especially compared to the last hotel. So yeah, we'll go and have a look and check it out. <clears throat> this is a really strange time to vlog. It's like 10 to two at the moment. Um, we made some friends at the hotel, they're so lovely, um, and we went out last night to Coco Bongo. Um, it was amazing, like Coco Bongo is the spot where everybody says that you have to go if you go to Cancun. So yeah, <clears throat> we tried it out and stuff, but what happened was I got food poisoning at the old hotel and I... As soon as we got to this new hotel, I, I felt better immediately and I think what I should have done is I should have just stuck to like toast and not gone too heavy on anything. Um, but I did the opposite and I sort of like had a few drinks at the pool. Um, and then I got back to the hotel room, had a four hour nap. I woke up from the nap and I was sick, like sick so bad. And we booked this Coco Bongo show, which was like 250 for both of us. So. Yeah, I kind of felt like we had to go and we were all going like in a group with the friends that we made and stuff. So like, I didn't want to let anybody down kind of thing. Um, but I felt really ill at the show and then we've just got back now and I've just been sick again. I'm losing a lot of water, so I don't know what it is because um, I've just literally been on the toilet all night and there's probably too much information, but like both ends <laughs> and throwing up so much. <clears throat> It's just making me really, really like unwell. And I'm like, I've got the shivers now, but like I felt my body and I'm like boiling. So I think I've got the fever. I just don't know what it is now because I've had it for like three, four days and it is really just starting to wear me down a little bit. Um, I'm okay. I'm hoping now that this is the last of the sickness. I've just been sick now and I feel like a little bit better. You know, when you're sick and then you start to feel a little bit better for a bit. Um, <clears throat> I just don't feel like I can sleep. But, we'll see. I just feel really gutted because it was Saturday night. I wanted to enjoy the show. It was so good. Um, and now I just feel like I've had to come home early and I just feel a bit gutted, really. And um, it's just a shame, but there's nothing I could do. I just wish that I didn't really like drink so heavily and I looked after myself a little bit more. But hey-ho. Um, hopefully I'm going to wake up tomorrow feeling a bit better and yeah. Yeah, we'll see. It's about 4 pm, we finally made it down to the pool. I've been really, really ill all night and all this morning. The doctor had to come out. I got stabbed in my back with an injection. My fluids were really low, so they had to replace my fluids. And I was throwing up. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to feel a little bit better now, so we have to come down to the pool. Um, I'm going to try and eat some like light food and then hopefully feel better for the flight tomorrow. Just trying to power through the other messy room. I am still feeling really ill but we're going to like a Japanese restaurant tonight where they do the teppanyaki. So I don't think I'm going to eat just because it's not the best for poorly stomachs. But um, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to vlog. but it was six courses and my belly just cannot handle it the food look beautiful but um no i just i can't i can't do it i don't want to risk feeling bad for the flight tomorrow so we've come to the all-inclusive buffet and this is the food that i've got i've got jelly 
the doctor says that I've got to have strawberry jelly. That's apparently really good for my stomach. It's such a shame because it is our last night, and I just really wanted to like be on good form, meet up with our mates, and like just enjoy it. But never mind. So we're all packed up, ready to go. I've caught a last minute tan. Oh, you can actually really see it. Um, yep, yeah, we're about to leave the room. We're all packed up and we're all to go. Good for jet skiing there, look. We've had the best time. It's probably one of the best holidays we've had, to be honest. I've really enjoyed it, especially ending on such a high at this hotel room. And yeah, I'm gonna clock out and get on this 10 hour flight. Adios!